This is an update video on Cranston Historical Cemetery 108. We visited the cemetery last year and it was very overgrown and actually now we're visiting and it's very cleared out since the last time we were here. We can tell that people are attending to this property and cleaning out the briars because the last time we went through here our pants was just getting stuck on thorns yeah. everywhere we walked. It was so painful. I'm going to do a little video really quick and see if we can find any names on these graves such as this one um samuel teft so the teft family was buried here there's this cool stone wall that goes all the way around it yeah, yeah. watch out for stumps they did cut down some trees yeah oh so we're having a tripping hazard see all this that's everything that they cleared out they just left it on the side but we have a lot of baby oak trees trying to come up and there's some creeping myrtle the little tiny gravestones we think were sometimes um well actually the tiny one is the end so it marks like where the body starts the beginning is the oh. headstone what they call the headstone and i guess they call that the footstone i'm assuming but I'm then not an Benjamin expert. Benjamin over here must have got very unlucky. Literally a part of the wall. Yeah, the wall's falling down a little bit. Yeah, he's literally a part of the wall. He's part of the wall down there. Poor Benjamin. guy. Benjamin! Why? What's his name? Benjamin something. Oh, Benjamin. Benjamin got very unfortunate. Benjamin Ellis? What's the name? Benjamin what? Never forget Benjamin Hill. Benjamin Hill. Who's this grave here? Dorcas. Dorcas. Hill. My grandma's name was Dorcas. <laughs> Other Nothing. side. Other side. Elizabeth Hill, Elizabeth. wife of Benjamin Hill. And then this one is so faded that you can't see. It's actually easier to see through the phone, but you still can't make out the words. Um, there's probably about 40 graves here. This one's facing this way. This one is... In memory of... Elvis? Elvis? <sighs> Miss, Miss Rebecca Potter, Potter, daughter of Potter, daughter of Zurich and Abigail Potter, who died in eighteen oh seven. I think it says. These are over 200 years old. Amazing. Erected in memory of Mercy B. Well, Mercy is such an old uh, fashioned name. I have a kid in my class named Mercy. Yeah, that's a very old fashioned name. She plays the bass. She plays the bass. Yeah. What does that one say? You see it? Benjamin and Benjamin. Lydia. Another Benjamin. Yeah. Potter. So we got Benjamin Hill and Benjamin Potter. The Hill ones and the Potters. Yep. In memory of Sarah G. And William. William? William? S. I can't read the whole thing. S. <laughs> Where are you? Esther? Esther. E S T H E R. Esther. We am Esther. Where are the Potter. They were the Potters. There's like five names on that one. Okay, over here we've got. This one actually looks much older. Like these ones look really old. Yeah. And the words are hard to make out. Um, this is Zuriel. 
and Abigail Potter. Um, Cereal and Abigail Potter. Memo. And the date is what? This, this is, says memo. Memory. In memory. Oh. Yep. Of Cereal Pot Potter. Potter. And Abigail Potter. Mm. And they were born. Seventeen seventy seven they were born. And seventeen ninety six they died, so they were only twenty two. Kind of I hope I did the right math. That would be embarrassing if I didn't. I just did that really quick. I don't really think much about math. Is this one on this side? Yeah, you can barely see this one too. This is another potter. I see the word potter on it. In memory of potter. This is Abigail Potter. Mrs. Abigail Potter. Who? Who? Died in 1805. The, she was 34. They didn't live as long back then, Anthony. Clearly. What's back there? It's almost 25. You look lucky. Watch out for the stumps. And then we remember that over here was the graves of some young people that died, very young. Born and died February 10th. Born and died? 1831. This little bud to parents given too sweet to bloom on earth has gone to bloom in heaven. Aww. That's sad. So sad. Let's see the others. The ivy is so pretty, huh? Lucy T. I'm going to assume that was Tef. Daughter of Reverend Otis and Lydia Potter. Died age 16. In 1833 she died. Aged, oh no. She aged two months. August 16th, 1833 is when she died. Wow, I can't believe these have been there since 1833. This is crazy. I'm probably stepping on someone's foot right now. <laughs> oh, I am stepping on a foot. I'm stepping on someone's head. There's a big stump right there, watch out. Yep, Potter. Potter? Another in Potter? Back in the olden days, their last names were very literal. So if they were a potter family, they probably had something to do with making pots. I wonder what kind of plant this is. This looks interesting right here. I don't recognize this, but it's cool looking. It's got these circular shaped leaves. Yeah. If anybody knows what this is, could they let me know? It seems to vine. Yeah, that's weird. I don't recognize that plant at all. Well, is there any more over here? Probably not because they didn't clear that part out. Yeah, this is about it. Yeah. And how pretty does it look with the sun rays like just oh, shining yeah, down? Yeah. How pretty. Oh, I'm so glad that they're keeping this restored. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's it for now. I'm going to shut off the video. Bye. Thank you.